Hello guys, uh, today I have a 1992 Toyota MR2 with a 2.0 turbo engine. Uh, complaint, uh, customer complaint is that the rough idle, um, lack of power, um, those kind of things. So, um, diagnosing these cars it's very difficult because I don't have a scan tool that I can communicate with the power control module. I cannot see any data, I, I, I can see the uh, uh, fuel trim to have some kind of direction where to go so uh, um, the only thing I can do is to pull a uh, uh, code, a trouble code, that if it, but check engine light is on, on it's not on so um, I tried that, I got no uh, any kind of uh, uh, trouble code stored in the in a computer so uh, um, one thing that I can do I can uh, check the oxygen sensor and see if um, if I'm running rich or lean or, or uh, if the computer if my, my oxygen sensor is uh, responding correctly so um, let's start there and see uh, what we can do so uh, the oxygen sensor it's located uh, on the passenger side the engine is actually in the rear um, and the oxygen sensor, uh, it's only one, well, the other problem is it's only one sensor, it's only, uh, this car only has an upstream sensor and maybe, maybe had a downstream at some point, but this uh, the history that the engine's been rebuilt and has, it's been taken out a couple of times, so uh, the uh, exhaust is custom, so I don't, I don't see the um, downstream oxygen sensor that I can compare uh, the readings if I'm, if I'm uh, maybe rich on the upstream and lean or downstream that I know that my one of the sensors is not it's not correct so now I'm having only upstream sensor so uh, uh, sensor is up uh, located on the on the right side kind of uh, on, of course on the on the um, uh, exhaust manifold so uh, I'm gonna do some uh, do some checks uh, get some uh, get some voltage from the from the sensor see what kind of signal I have and uh, see if I can figure something out. So uh, I'm gonna go over here. So um, oxygen sensor is right right in the let me get the camera a little bit closer. It's right in this area. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, back from my uh, my uh, control wire. It's uh, actually I can only get access to my uh, sensor side, not the not the uh, uh, harness side. It's real difficult underneath this uh, hose. So, uh, uh, but I know my my black wire on my sensor side. It's it's my uh, it's my sensor wire, so um, I'm gonna start the car and see what kind of reading reading I have on my on my sensor. So uh, I'm gonna get you guys closer to my 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 voltmeter. Let you see what we have here. Shot of the engine right now. Let me 
guys see and my, my engine is really it's really shaking right now it's having a misfire and um, my uh, my voltage on my uh, I'm at uh, 200, 300 millivolts seems like it's uh, it's pretty lean and I'm gonna rev it up a little bit to see if it's going to respond to this it seems like it seems like it's uh, it's responding to uh, wide open throttle but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some propane and see what what's gonna happen see I Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna use some some propane to uh, enrich my mixture to see if I'm what kind of response I have from my from my oxygen. I'm just gonna find one. Uh, um, I'm gonna just add it to my intake manifold. Okay, I'm gonna get you guys closer to my okay now I'm gonna start adding some some propane to see if my if my O2 is gonna go rich. There you go. It seems to re, seems to be responding actually pretty quick. So it seems like the oxygen sensor it's uh, it's working. So uh, we may have a uh, true lean condition going on. Maybe some kind of vacuum leak on some sort, or, or uh, we'll, we'll see. I just made a large vacuum leak, so it actually died on me. So uh, my next test I'm gonna do. I want to uh, check my heater circuit, make sure that oxygen sensor is getting warm enough and that my heater circuit is working. And uh, the way I like, the way I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna use my. Uh, uh, we, we can uh, we can check uh, power and ground, make sure that the computer is uh, controlling the heater circuit, and also we can uh, we can look the current ramp. To see how much uh, current we have on uh, on our you know, on our heater circuit. So I'm going to start the car again, and I'm going to uh, uh, move my leads to my heater circuit. I'm going to check the uh, feed side and the control side and see what uh, if we have a 12 volts coming to our uh, heater circuit. Okay guys, I'm gonna move my leads to my uh, one of my wide wires, one for the uh, for my heater circuit, and I have uh, 1.6 volts, which is a little high, but I'm okay with that. And uh, I'm not gonna see the feed side. I should have battery voltage, and I have. Here you go. Now I have a battery voltage on it, so I know now that my uh, I have a control. I have a feed and uh, power and ground on my on my heater circuit. Now I want to check my uh, oxygen sensor for, uh, for current. I just want to see if my uh, my sensor is okay. So 
let me uh, put my end clamp around real quick and see what kind of amperage we have on my on my heater circuit. through my through my uh, heater on my on my oxygen sensor I have a 99 millivolts and my scale is 100 millivolts equal one amp so I have one amp of current through my oxygen sensor and I'm happy with that so uh, one last check uh, I'm gonna check a ground side on my sensor uh, side of my see what what I have there Sensor side, so I, on a, uh, I mean a ground side on the on the on my sensor, and uh, let's see. <coughs> and uh, I have a I have a 700 almost 800 millivolts of voltage drop on my. Uh, on my ground side on my sensor and uh, I, I don't like this this shouldn't be more than a hundred millivolts so um, I'm not sure if this can cause a problem but I need to <coughs> I need to address this so uh, uh, this is I believe this is a little bit too much so I have to find my uh, my uh, uh, wiring diagram and see where we're getting our uh, uh, ground for, for, the, for the sensor. Okay, I have found this wiring diagram and uh, I can see my uh, is my uh, oxygen sensor here and this brown wire, it's my ground and goes all the way to here and, um, and uh, it feeds also, uh, goes into the main computer and the oxygen sensor so uh, I also have this book from a friend of mine, actually for the owner of the of the vehicle, and uh, I have uh, located this ground. It's on the block uh, behind the engine, uh, on the block, kind of uh, toward the toward the end of uh, and uh, back of the car. So um, uh, it should be an eyelet with uh, maybe four or five wires. So uh, I'm going to go down underneath the car and see if I can uh, find that ground and see if there any any voltage drop there. Okay guys, I'm underneath the car and uh, here's the alternator, so this is kind of back of the engine. This is the alternator and uh, my uh, ground wire, I'm having a hard time to see because my eyes, are, if I have something up close I can't see very well, but here's my uh, here's my eyelid here and uh, it says these four brown wires are coming into the uh, the my uh, my post. So I'm gonna get camera down to my voltmeter, and then I'm gonna touch these wires. And now you guys are gonna be able to see my, the reading that I have. Let's see, here. I'm just gonna put the camera down. I'm sorry about this. Okay, so I'm, right now I'm gonna touch the block. You guys can see I have a good ground on the block, and uh, I'm touching the post, the bolt. It's fine. And now I'm touching the eyelet, and I have a 500 millivolts of voltage drop. 
on both eyelids. So this is a little bit too much, and uh, and also this, um, you know, this is the ground for the computer as well. So uh, I have to fix this first and see if uh, if my oxygen sensor is gonna get better or not. Or uh, so uh, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna try to give you guys the shot of this uh, eyelid one more time if I can. So uh, let's see here. There you go. I think it's in a shot. It's right there. Okay, so that's my uh, that's my ground. So when I got my lead on a block, it's fine. But when I got my lead on on the eyelet, it's reading 500 millivolts. So I'm having a quite a bit of voltage drop there. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Doesn't look rusted or anything. Maybe just the bolt is dirty or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe oxidation on the on the on the block or something. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up and see if did it make any difference or not. Okay, guys, I got the. Um uh, my uh, the bolt was actually a little loose, so um, and I got it cleaned up. Now uh, this is my uh, ground ground uh, side on my. Uh, this is the ground that I had a problem with, and uh, now you can see I have uh, no voltage drop at all. And uh, when I get my, uh, I'm gonna move my. Uh, lead to my signal wire my black wire and look at this guy this is awesome now my oxygen sensor is switching from leads to rain my my uh, no more misfire my uh, this is fixed I'm so happy look at that Switching from leads to rain, clean, no more misfire, engine runs great. Okay. The uh, RPM is still a little high, but I think it needs to learn all the new, uh, new fuel thing and everything, but this is fixed. This is great. Alright guys, well, this, is, this is really cool, I, I really like it. Um, so, um, you know, the problem was that my uh, ground on my sensor was elevated because of the uh, bad uh, uh, connector on the, on, the, on the block. So I had excessive voltage drop and uh, also the same ground is supplied to engine computer. And uh, uh, one thing that I did not uh, film was when I was doing all the other checks, I also... Uh, Check my reference voltage, 5 volt reference voltage, and it was 5.4. And um, every time you see the reference voltage higher than what it should be, uh, that could be the, the ground ground you know problem. So um, after I got my uh, ground fixed, it's went to 5.0, spot on. So uh, uh, so now the no misfire. You guys see my uh, oxygen sensor is switching from leach to lean. Lean. Um, it still uh, uh, idles a little high, but um, you know with the, the way that, that this car has a different engine and the EGR was taken out, so uh, I think uh, the owner is going to be happy. I'm happy for sure. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So my uh, please, when you do these checks on the sensors, always check your ground side of the sensor. And uh, if you have anything over the 50 millivolts, there is a potential problem that you. You, you might have. So um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, see you next time. Thank you.